Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband episode 46. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So yes, I will have the cat logo on. I'm sorry. It's due to Naver's Webtoon's policy, all right? So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who's interested for my early access to all my content for the month of July, uh, they are all available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. And yes, that means you guys will have access to everything without waiting it for it to go public online. And it's for everything, all of my content. So if that's up your alley, definitely check it out. I do have a free trial going on right now for the tier two and tier three memberships. So I'll drop the link in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, you know it's bad when there's a warning on a Marry My Husband episode. So here we go. Warning, this episode contains this depictions of graphic violence that may be upsetting for some readers. You guys been have been warned. All right. Wait, it's 2009 right now. Who's saw it? Which means the new address system hasn't been put in place yet. And yet this address is written in the new format. A, a letter? Uh, impossible. <gasps> Dear G1, my love. Gee, have you also traveled back in time? Marry My Husband, episode 46. When I was in college, I would often see this girl sitting in the woods behind one of the school buildings. She loved wildflowers and cats. For days and weeks, I couldn't stop thinking about the way she wore her hair up in a ponytail and her twinkling eyes behind her large glasses. At the time, I didn't know that I had fallen for, fallen for a girl whose name I didn't even know. Like a fool, I let time pass by. Cheese! She didn't come today, either. I have something I wanted to tell her. Hey, can I get a smile? I took time out of my busy schedule to come see my brother graduate. And graduated without getting a chance to get to know her. I didn't get to tell her that I brought you home after seeing you passed out on the ground. She probably stopped coming to the woods because you're no longer there. I'm sorry, Payne. But she was always on my mind. The one beautiful spring day. Yes, this is uh, Ji Hyuk Yu, the department head of marketing team one. We need another person on our team. Out of, out of the new employees, could you assign Miss Jiwon Kang to marketing team one? List of new employees name Jiwon Kang. Our paths crossed again. Here are the documents for you asked for, Mr. Yu. It didn't matter that you didn't remember me. All right, please leave them on my desk. I actually felt bad that I always came off as stiff and unfriendly, even though I'd stay up all night practicing what you to say to you. But more importantly, I was just happy I, that I could see you again. Clink. Go easy on the booze since it's your first company dinner. Okay. I have so many regrets about that day. I wish I would have mustered up the courage to sit next to you instead of simply watching you from across the table. I wish I would have grabbed a piece of the delicious meat and placed it on your pl plate. Back then, I believed that instead of a uh, boring old me, Min one would make you happy for the rest of your life. Um, Mr. Yu, may I also submit a recommendation letter for a friend who's applying for the temporary position? Of course. 
I didn't dare to ask for more. Thank you. Oh, he blushed. Because seeing you happy was enough for me. Huh? I saw you one wearing the same earrings. Oh, Juwan and I got matching earrings, but I probably don't look good in them since I have a baby face. <laughs> oh, that's not true. I think they look better on you. And I think you're prettier and cuter than Juwan, Suman. Uh, 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 hello, Mr. Yu. Uh, would you like a cup of coffee? I'll make you some right now. No, thank you. Please get back to work. I, I should get going too. Mr. Park, can I see you for a minute? Do you really have time to chat with a coworker when you need someone else's help finishing your work? Excuse me? I don't know what you mean. I know that the reports submitted under your name were actually written by Miss King. Please write your own reports from now on. But I shouldn't have simply watched from the sidelines. Hello, Mr. Yu. Those earrings. Oh, these? Oh, they were a gift from Suman. They don't really suit you. Uh, that's not what I meant to say. It wasn't that the earrings didn't suit you. It was that Minwon Park was a terrible match for you. Juwan Kang, do you take this man to be your husband? To love him, to honor him, to obey him for as long as you both shall live. I do. The day you married Minwon, I decided it was finally time to quit my job, which was something I'd been putting off for months. It was so that I could try and move on from you once again. Years passed, and I heard from someone that you've fallen ill. <sighs> Miss Kang? I think she went for a walk. I'm glad you came. She looked awfully lonely. No one has come to visit her. Uh, she took out her IV. She didn't go for a walk. Uh, <sighs> Miss Kang? Please follow the taxi in front of us. <sighs> Thank God. As I stood there in front of your building, I debated whether to call your name or not. I couldn't bring myself to turn around and leave. I felt strangely nervous and on edge just then. <gasps> the scream! <gasps> I was scared. So, what if something had, ha had happened to you? If something bad had happened, then... Huh. No. No. What the hell are you doing here? Get out! Miss Kang! Wake up! Please, wake up. I'll take you. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me take you to the hospital. Please, Miss Kang, I'll do anything. Please open your eyes. Please. We tried our best to look since you were so insistent, but her father died years ago and it seems she wasn't close to any of her relatives. Oh, her mother is alive, but we couldn't get in touch with her. Here's Miss Kang phone. We finished going through it. You must be tired from arranging the funeral. Ah, uh, you're such a cutie. You must really like the snack. Do you want another one? Yeah. You were the same exact person I ran into all those years ago. Someone who loved flowers and cats. I wish I could turn back time and fix my past mistakes. I wish I could go back and save you.
I would gladly give up my life to see your beautiful smile again. That's so sweet. Of course, we did not find out how he was able to go back in time with her. But, man. That's the backstory of how he knows and everything. It's just so, it's like tugging on my heartstrings so much right now. Ah, <sighs> All right, guys. If you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!